Hi guys, my name is Nadia Moor, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add freckles to your uh, Instagram filter. So first we need face assets. I just googled uh, face assets Spark ER and I got to this page. I'm going to send you um, a link to it. Uh, so I you need to download face uh, reference assets here. And I already downloaded mine, so I'm not going to do it again. Then second thing I did, I googled freckles PNG. PNG, that's a file that has transparent background, and I also picked transparent here. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna be honest. Some of these pictures are not transparent, so you will need to search a little bit to find the perfect one for yourself. And now I'm clicking at this picture and save image as and you can see here is says png file but sometimes even though it says png file it still doesn't have transparent background so search for the the one that that have okay so now we have freckles here second thing the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the photo pia i'm gonna leave the link to this website also and I'm going to click open from computer. And now we are, uh, now we have this folder. I'm going to go so you can see um, desktop, AR studio, and I have fast face assets that I downloaded. And now I'm going to textures and I'm picking face feminine. After that, I am dropping my freckles on this picture. And as you see, here another layer was created. So I'm going to zoom, zoom in, and I'm going to align those freckles the, the way I want them to in the future to align on my face. I'm going to make them wider. Also, you can change the color of the freckles to white, and then change and then change pick new color in the Spark AR. For example, if you want them to to be like blue or some other color, but since I like the current one, I'm just gonna keep this color. So now I'm making this background invisible. Let me move a little bit like this. I'm gonna make it invisible. And I'm going to save this file to my laptop. File. Export as PNG. I need to save it as PNG. And click here, save. And now I download it. Here, show all. I'm going to drag it to the desktop. Now we are opening our Spark Air Studio, new project, and add object, face tracker, add face mesh, let me search for it, here, face mesh, and I'm going to call it retouch. Now I click on the retouch and I add material and I'm going to call it retouch again. And I'm clicking on this material, going to the shader type and picking retouching and make it a little bit less because I don't like when it's too much. 27, 28 is good. So that's just to make our skin smooth. I'm going to click actually to my video. So then I want to add one more face asset and I'm adding, I mean face, face mesh. I'm adding face mesh and I'm call it, calling it freckles. After that, I am again clicking on this plus and adding create new material. And 
here, freckles. And I would prefer shader type face paint. Now I need to add texture. So I will drag this face feminine PNG that we created in Photopea here. And now when you, I'm going back to the material freckles, texture, face feminine. And now you can see that our freckles, let me enlarge it, are here. Now I'm clicking again on this material freckles and then I will play with the settings. So I would like to make the opacity a little bit less so it looks more natural. Also, you can play with the shader type. For example, face paint, it's the type of material that lets the brightness of the skin come true. But if you want something more permanent, you can choose the flat. So you can play around and decide which one you like more. So I usually pick between the flat or face paint. And also play with how strong you want them to be. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.